I'd like to show you today a new product called the Guillotine Fin Alignment Guide. Um, and this, this thing right here, and we call it a guillotine because it, it slides up and down like this. Now when you first get it, there's these rails and they're not attached because it makes it harder to ship with them attached. Um, so they will need to be attached. But before I do that, I want to show you one of the unique features of this, and that's these little V-notches right here. I don't know if you can see that. And the purpose of those V-notches is they're going to align the fin, the thickness of the fin, perfectly with the tube that runs through it. Um, so let me go ahead and install this one. And, and to put these on, you just slide the, uh, the rails into the slots. There's a couple of little washers that go on and then some wing nuts. And you want to have these loose to start with. And we'll tighten them down in just a second. Now, the tube is going to slide right through this hole here. Um, the smallest tube uh, that will fit is a 18 millimeter, or you might know it as the BT-20. Um, that's the smallest size, and as you put it in there, it kind of locks it in place. Um, the smallest tube, the uh, BT-5 or the 13 millimeter, it's too small. It, it just kind of goes through that hole. So that's the smallest tube that will go through there. The largest tube is the largest opening, and that's a 2.6 inch tube. So any size tube, no matter if it's a standard size or an oddball size, any size tube between 13 millimeter and this one here, I think this is 66 millimeter, will work. Uh, so 2.5 inch diameter, outside diameter. Um, and then the length of the tube, the shortest tube, is the length of these that would go in here. And that looks to be about you know 8 inches approximately. Okay, so... The first thing you want to do is to mark your fins on your tube. Um, you can either use a uh, paper ring like this, or you can use the, these Estes fin marking rings, I don't know. And I've showed you how to use these before in a different video, and you can find that on our website. These are convenient for um, standard size tubes. If you have an, a non-standard size tube or um, using more than three or four fins, that, like this one here has five fins on it, then you're going to have to make you know, a paper guide like this. And I'll show you how to do that in a future video. Um, so I've got it marked. You can see right here. And I'll just take an aluminum angle. And you can also use these aluminum angles here on this uh, guillotine cutter. And you just want to mark each of your fins where they're going to be positioned on the tube. Okay. I'll just go ahead and do the two for right now. And now this side here is where the, the fins are going to be positioned. So go ahead and open it up, slide your tube in, and just kind of lock it down right now. All right, and then take your fins, and we have some laser cut fins here. So I'll just pop them out real quick. And the first thing you want to do is to adjust these rails here along the top for the thickness of the fin. Now there's no minimum thickness, and the maximum thickness that this can use is as far as these will open, and that appears to be about a half of an inch. Okay, so anything from zero to a half of an inch will work in here, so it's pretty versatile. So what you'll do is you'll slide it in, your fin, and then we're just, we're just setting the, the thickness here, so we're just sliding it in and you're going to slide it right into that V groove that we just talked about and kind of hold it tight and take another one and do it the same thing on the opposite end. Okay, just kind of hold it tight. And at this point now I'm going to tighten down these thumb screws or the wing nuts here. And okay, so so now this thickness is constant all the way across. And you're just going to drop it through here, and then you're going to rotate your tube around here to align it right on your fin line right there. Can you see that? And then to glue it into place, you can use wood glue or, or super glue, whatever you're using. Go ahead and just put that on there.
And I'm just going to accelerate it here with some super glue accelerator. It's way too much, but you get the point. And you can just slide it out. And then your next tube, your next fin would go on there like that. Pretty simple, huh? So this is the guillotine fin alignment guide or fixture. Um, you're watching the Apogee Components Rocketry Workshop. My name is Tim Van Milligan. Come to our website where you can buy this. It's at www.apogeerockets.com.